<laughs> Howdy folks, it's Nito with AP2020 Outdoors. Oh man, I finally been wanting to put this video together for the last month. If you're wondering why I got my ghost blind set up, it's because I freaking forgot my uh, my brass catcher. Anyways, you got to improvise. Uh, I'm out here finally testing the Sig Sauer BDX. This is the uh, four and a half to 14 BDX scope, second focal plane. I've got the uh, Sig Sauer. This is the Kilo 2200 BDX rangefinder. Pretty awesome technology. I've got the uh, scope vision phone scope. I'm gonna go ahead and get the uh, uh, get this my smartphone turned on here. Okay, we are recording. So my first target I get set out at right at 600 yards. So I ranged it with the uh, Kilo 2200 BDX. It fed the data to my four and a half to 14 six hour scope. If you see the uh, dot in the crosshair, it should be lit up. Let's go ahead and take some shots. Here we go. Impact! Just high. Impact! Impact! Now if you guys notice, I'm holding left edge. We got some wind. Probably about 8 to 10 mile an hour full value from 9 o'clock. I'm going to cheat a little more so if I can get some center mass hits here. Impact! Impact! That's pretty cool. All right, folks, watch the reticle. I'm going to uh, range the coyote target. So that's 479. It's kind of hard to hold steady. Let's see. See what I do on the coyote here. As you guys would have seen the dot move down, I'm sorry, move up. All right, here we go. Impact! Impact! All right, I got a close target. That six inch uh, popper. It says 258. As you guys see the red dot move up. Impact! <laughs> All right, folks. I'll tell you what, very impressed with the six hour BDX system. You know, the, in my estimation, it's a game changer. You know, the uh, technology is pretty relatively new. I'm sure six hours working on a second generation now. Anyways, this is Nito with AP 2020 Outdoors. Remember, supporting our Second Amendment rights. If you all up in the north like I am, stay warm. Still got some more deer season left. Hope I can get a deer this year. We'll see you all later. It's, uh...